Hey everyone, I just wanted to take you through a quick video in order how to go through uh, the logistics of making an amazing race within your Google Drive um, using Google My Maps and Google Forms. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off in your drive um, and I made a new folder just saying test amazing race just so everyone could see. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to go to my new box in the upper left hand corner, select that and then scroll down to Google My Maps. So I'm going to hit again New, More, and Google My Maps. So I'm going to select that. So once my um, Google My Maps is open, and I know Sabrina uh, went over this, but I'm just going to retitle my map, and I'm going to call this uh, Challenge 1 um, and Description um, Click on Pin. So some people will do this one differently. You can kind of go about it any way you really want, um, but this is the way that I'm going to do this. Um, you can also name the layer to like instructions and so that people can click on instructions. And I know Sabrina did this a little differently, um, but that's okay. You can kind of find small variations um, within how you do this and that's totally fine. If you look to the bottom on where it says base map, you can actually click and go over a variety of maps, so whether it be satellite, terrain, um, simple atlas, you name it, you can go through it. Um, like Sabrina, I also like the satellite option, so I'm going to select the satellite option. And then where I have this search bar along the top, I am going to select the destination that I want to start my amazing race at. So for me, I'm just going to put in Paris, and I'm going to hit Paris, France. Now as soon as I do that, I'm prompted and taken to Paris, and I get this box that pops up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the Add to Map function. So when I hit that, it adds this into my layer, and you can see now on the left-hand side, Paris is highlighted and it's added in there. Let's say I wanted to change the pin color. I can scroll here to Style and I can change the color of my pin to anything I want and I can actually also select more icons and I can change the type of pin it actually is. So let's go with this check mark for now and just hit OK because it's not super important. Now this is an important element is where it says the details from Google Maps Paris France we're gonna remove this and the reason is is because we're gonna have to edit something into this box. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this pencil, which will show me the edit function, and now I can type anything I want in. So I'm just going to put test for now, and then I'm going to hit save. Okay, once that's in there, my map is good to go. Now normally I would put in a clue here, something like, um, what is my name? And then a question. And here is where you're going to insert your link to your Google form, which you're about to put in. So I'm going to save. And now I'm going to go back to my Amazing Race test folder, okay? But I'm going to keep this open, and that's important. So I'm going to now go to New, and I'm going to select a Google form. And I want this to match uh, the Google My Map. So I'm going to call this as well Challenge 1. And you could even put this as submission if you wish. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the type of question from multiple choice to a short answer. So you do that just on the left hand side by selecting the choice options in the drop down menu. And there we go. And when I do this, there's another important element. See where it says required? You want to make this a required question. So I'm going to slide that over. And then these three dots are super important. So this is going to make everything work in terms of functionality. You're going to hit these dots and select data validation. So I'm going to click that. And now I'm prompted with this where it says number, greater than, all this different stuff. So I'm going to put in the same question that you saw on my Google My Map, which was, what is my name? And here, instead of a number, I'm going to change this to text. And then you can see where it says contain. I'm going to leave that. And now this is how I want my answer to appear. So my name is going to be Derek. But if I just leave it as Derek and I don't put anything in this custom error text, anytime they answer the question incorrectly, it's going to give them what the answer is. So I'm going to give them a clue for any time they answer it wrong. So I'm just going to say my name no caps, no space. 
Okay, so now let's just say they in, in, entered in the name Sabrina. They would be prompted that it's incorrect and it will say my name, no caps, no space. Now what you want to do, you have your question almost ready to go, but you're going to hit this gear, which is the settings tab. So I'm going to hit the settings tab up along the top and I'm going to remove the restricted Thames Valley user so anybody with the link can view. And then along the top where it says general presentation and quizzes, I'm going to select presentation. And now I'm going to get a confirmation message. So here's where I want to say like, awesome job, keep moving. And now I'm going to insert the link to my second map, but I can't do that just yet. And you'll see why. So I'm going to save and I'm going to come back to this. Now what I want to do is I want to go to the send button up at the top right hand corner. And I'm going to click on the link portion. And once I do that, I'm going to shorten the URL by just clicking this box. Once I've done that, I can copy this link by just clicking copy. And I'm going to go back to my challenge number one map. And I'm going to go back to my map and hit edit. And right after I said, what is my name? I'm going to paste the link into my map and hit save. So now when you guys are at your first challenge, you click on this link and it's going to direct you right to the Google form. And this is what it will look like. So what is my name? And I'm going to just show you what it would look like. So say if I start typing in Derek, see how it's not totally correct. So it says my name, no caps, no spaces. But as soon as I put the K, watch what happens. Oh, and a space. So it takes it away. Um, and that was my fault because in the um, first answer, I should have taken away a space. So I can fix that. Okay. So we're ready to go, but what I am going to do is I am going to make some, uh, I'm going to make some edits here. So I'm going to go back to my answer. So I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go back to my drive, pull up my Google form. And here we go. And in my answer, I'm going to take away that space. So it's gone. Now what I have to do, I have one map and one form almost ready to go. I can actually close this. Uh, map now if I wish, but I have to add now a nether map. So I'm going to go down, hit more, and Google My Maps. And this is going to be map two. So instead of calling it Untitled Map, I'm going to call this Challenge 2. And description, follow instructions, and again, you can add whatever you like here to make it a lot easier. Um, this is just for the tutorial's sake. Um, layer follow instructions, save, and I'm going to change it again just for consistency to satellite map, and I'm going to enter a new location. So for me, I'm going to enter London, Ontario. I'm going to add to pin, okay, and add to map, sorry. So once I do that, this is important. So this is how you link your form to the map. In the left-hand side where it says challenge number two, if you look down, you see add layer and share. I would like you to hit the share button and then this will auto populate and it will say who has access private. You're going to hit the change and you're going to select anyone with the link can view. Then you're going to hit save. Once you've done that, you're going to copy this link. You're going to go back to your number one Google form and where we hit that gear before in the settings tab, we're going to do that again. Go over to your presentation bar and where I already said, awesome job, keep moving. I'm going to now paste the link to my second map and I'm going to save it because now once they answer correctly, it's going to take me to my second map. So just so you can see how it works, I'm going to open my challenge one tab. So we start our amazing race. Here we go. All right. My challenge one says click on the pin. So I click on the pin. It prompts me. What is my name? So I click on the Google form. When I do that, it says, what is my name? I'm going to put in Derek. Oh, what do you know? I've got it right. I hit submit and it says, awesome job. Keep moving. And here's the link. I click the link. And what do you know? It takes me to challenge number two. So we can just repeat that process just so we can go. So let's go through it just so you can see what it would be. Okay. So now that I'm at challenge two, I have to quickly edit this box or sorry, I'm going to remove this box. And then I'm just going to say, um, what city do I do I live in? 
save, and now I'm gonna have to go back and open up a new Google form. This challenge one form is done. So I can close that. I'm gonna go back and hit new, more Google form. I'm gonna title this challenge two. And I'm just gonna title my question, um, what city do I live in? And short answer, and then again, remember we have to hit required question, dots, data validation, and instead of number, I'm gonna put text, contains the answer London, one word is my clue, no caps. Then I have to go to my gear again. I'm going to hit the uncheck the box for restricted times value users. I'm gonna say, awesome work, click on the link for your next stop. I'm gonna hit save. Then I'm gonna to go to send, get the link, shorten the URL, copy this link, and put it into my challenge to map. So I'm gonna go back to edit, paste, I'm going to save it, and there we go. So when I click on this link, it'll take me to your next Google form. And we simply repeat that process again and again. I hope this video helps, but if not, nor you, need to, you have additional questions, please reach out to me or Sabrina or Ryan and let us know. Thank you very much, bye.